From your local news leader, this is NBC 10 News Today. Right now, alum of one area high school are fed up with the education, or as they say, lack thereof. That story up next. And heartbreak for one family when they find out their senior wouldn't cross the stage. The reason why, minutes away. Plus, one South Arkansas city is set to save a lot of money by going solar. Good morning. It's 531. I'm Chris Immersion. I'm Reed Liebarger. How we doing? Friday? Good. good. Yeah. Doing so far so good, man. So far so good. You got big weekend plans? Yeah, actually, later tonight, <laughs> just a little behind the scenes stuff. Coming back because Spencer's in uh, Bat Rouge for yeah. the LSU softball regional. Mm -hmm. So I'll be on your TV screen tonight at nine, 9 and 10. All right. So what does Tech play this weekend? Tech plays tonight or this afternoon at 3 o'clock versus Texas Tech. Uh, Give me that. That's, that's going to be a good game. You know, the Texters can stand with the, anybody. Yeah, they were good this year. They were great this year. Actually, they held your Florida State Lady Seminoles to no runs until the bottom of the sixth inning in that game and uh, earlier in the season. That's good. FSU is a you know, they're, they're powerhouse. They're a beast. They're a beast. So. And you're, you're a beast because you're from Florida State. Yes. You're the GOAT. That's right. I appreciate that. Hey. Well, good softball. Good softball this weekend for the folks who want to watch LSU Tech. Root for the locals. For the yes. Tech. We got some nice weather in the forecast for today. Sunny skies. We got high temperatures near 90. Again. It's going to be toasty outside, so make sure you dress well. Drinking lots of water this weekend. Different story. Our nice stretch of sunny weather coming to an end with a slight risk for severe weather in effect late Saturday. That'll be overnight into Sunday morning. Got some strong storms expected to work through. So be sure to stay weather aware if you got those plans this weekend. I got all your forecast details in a few minutes. That's your forecast first. All right, thank you, Reed. Members of the Southside community are concerned about the quality of education students are receiving. Earlier this week, they decided to go public. Now they're telling NBC10's Bria Jones what they want. Carroll High alumni are concerned with the education of students, wondering if their diplomas will be useful. That, that's the question. That's the big question. That's the, that's the elephant in the room. Jesse Smith graduated from Carroll High and taught there. He's at the forefront of the movement to get help for schools on the south side. It doesn't add up. You got failing elementary schools. You got failing junior high schools. And then the high schools are, are performing you know, at, at, at B and C level. Smith is referring to Carol's grade from the Department of Education. The school has a C average, but received a D for ACT scores and F for assessments. It just doesn't seem right that you got all these honor graduates, but cannot go to college with the honor degrees and graduates that they have. The NAACP joining the fight, hoping to raise awareness and shed light on an issue they say is left in the dark. That the alumni and others have sent letters to the superintendent, to the school board members, to the principals, and the letters have not been answered. So I believe that the, the fight is legitimate, that the voice needs to be heard. Smith says it doesn't matter if it's two or 200 degrees. It's time to do what's best for the children. That's the primary reason why we're out here is to make sure we, we're getting the maximum benefit for our kids and our community because we haven't gotten good revo uh, results so far. All right, thanks, Bree. Hope they can get that turned around real soon. Staying in the classroom, a Richland Parish family is heartbroken after learning their high school senior wouldn't be graduating with his class, finding out only two days before the ceremony. They want to know how it could happen. NBC10's Anna McAllister has the answers. We have cried from preschool up. All of man was like, I want to see this kid graduate. It felt like somebody, like, like somebody had died. Chase Parker and his family had dreamed of the moment for years, watching him walk at Mangum High School's graduation. Chase was ready for graduation. He had the cap and gown. He went to the senior luncheon. He even was on his way to graduation practice. But when he got there, the school told him that he wouldn't be able to walk just two days before the ceremony. A principal calls and gets into it and says that he can't graduate, he can't get his diploma, so that he did not pass his English EOC test. Crystal says her son has always struggled in school because of his dyslexia and ADHD. It's never been easy for him, but we honestly thought here we are at the very end that, you know, we're done, it's over. But the only thing that was over was Chase's chance to walk with his class. Crystal says the school knew about Chase's learning disabilities, but didn't take the right steps to prepare him for testing. As far as his accommodations for like his 504, none of that was done. I don't know how they expected him to be able to even pass this test 
whenever they didn't do their job. The Richland Parish Superintendent released this statement that says in part, no students will be allowed to participate in commencement exercises until they have successfully completed the requirements. Crystal says she called Bat Rouge and officials at the education office told her that normally students who can't graduate can walk without receiving a diploma. She says Chase will be retaking the test over the summer. A man is in the hospital and his wife is facing charges after a shooting at a mobile home park in Monroe. It happened around 930 yesterday morning in the 5300 block of DeSeard at University Estates. Monroe police say a man was shot during a fight with his wife. He's been taken to the hospital. His condition is still unknown. The man's wife, Jacaria Hollins, is charged with attempted second degree murder, domestic abuse battery and child endangerment. So far, no bond has been set. All public buildings in Camden will soon be solar powered. A solar farm will be going up on city owned land this summer thanks to a deal with an energy company. The company gets tax breaks. Camden doesn't pay a dime and has an option to buy the solar farm in 20 years. This is an opportunity for our community to lead the way and to be more progressive and innovative in our approach for energy. Our water plant uses lots of energy and so that's going to save our citizens a lot of money over time. Camden expects to save about $100,000 a year on electric bills. The solar farm will also power Washtenaw County's hospital. Two high school seniors graduated in Junction City last night with two huge distinctions, and it's an achievement that's making history. Alexis Peterson and Sakaria Rogers are respectively Junction City High School's valedictorian and salutatorian. It's the first time in their school's history that two African-American women have ranked at the top of the class. Alexis will be attending Northwestern State, and Sakaria will be going to Louisiana Tech. We are giving away an NBC10 Fox 14 umbrella, courtesy of Shedrin Umbrella. Chief Meteorologist Jared Floyd announces the winner weeknights at 5.30 on Fox 14 and at 6 p.m. on NBC10. To enter for your chance to win, go to our website, myarclemist.com, and click on the contest tab. On deck, how ULM was able to snap their long skip to ULL. Plus, the Texers meet Texas Tech today in the NCAA softball regionals. We'll hear from head coach Mark Montgomery after the break. But first, here's Reed.